Hello and welcome to another tutorial in HTML. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, in this tutorial, we're going to go over forms. And now, uh, forms is something that the user can input, and then when they submit it, they can change something in your server, something like that. So maybe it would be like a login, or I don't know, they're signing up for your mailing list, something like that. Uh, there's just user input basically. So there's a specific tag uh, that forms have. I'm just gonna put it in the content, uh, content div right here in our website that we've created, okay. And I'm gonna name this form, okay. Like this, and that's how we make a form tag. And basically, if we refresh the page now, it's not gonna do anything, okay. So we don't see anything, there's nothing there. So we have to add the elements that are gonna be in our form. So for example, let's do a, let's do a login, how about? So we, can, we need a username, right? So we're gonna ask for a username, okay? And then we have to have a, a text box to put in our username. So the way we do this is we use the input tag. So most, uh, most, in, uh, most form elements uh, are just the input tag. There's some very few elements that uh, have other tags, but it's mostly just the input tag. So here, uh, then we have to t say uh, what type of form element we're gonna use. Uh, so we're, we're gonna want it to be a text because we're getting text. And then we're gonna name this uh, username. And it's very important to uh, name these because uh, later on when we're doing PHP or like server side, uh, programming and we're submitting a form to that script uh, this name is how we're going to retrieve and like identify uh, what information uh, they sent us so then I'm going to create a new line after that so very important to uh, name all your inputs so I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy and then change this to password and instead of text we're going to say it's a password so this way, uh, when someone's typing something, uh, their password, uh, we see those little black circles instead of having it be being exposed. And we're gonna name it password, okay? And then finally, we need a submit button. So the way we do this is uh, we make another input tag, input, and we're gonna, its type is gonna be submit, okay? And then its value, this is uh, the text that's gonna be on the button, uh, that's going to be uh, login, okay? And I'm gonna put that ending slash there. Okay, so let's refresh the page and see what we got. There we go, okay, it doesn't look very good because uh, username took up more space than password. So what we would have to do is maybe put this in a table to make it look nicer, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just trying to teach you guys forms, not. I'm not, I don't want to be OCD about this. So now we can uh, type in our username, I don't know, salad raider. I'm going to put in some random password. And there we, and as we see, it works well. And when we press it, it does nothing. That's because uh, we haven't told it to do anything. Uh, uh, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to actually go over how we make it do something in this tutorial because that goes beyond the scope of this series. Uh, if you want to know more about forms and how you can have it do stuff, uh, you can learn uh, PHP. And I'm going to try to make a series on PHP later on. So uh, stay tuned and stay subscribed so you know when that series is coming out. So you'll be able to use forms and stuff like that because it's uh, really, really helpful. So uh, I'm just going to show you some other type of uh, form elements that you can put into your form besides just like text boxes and uh, submit buttons. So you can also put like uh, radio buttons in here. Uh, input type equals radio, okay. Uh, and I'll give you a radio button. I'm just gonna name it radio one. The value will be, uh, I don't know, I like dogs or something. And we can, set it by default that this will be checked or something like that. Okay. Or you know what? We can just set it, how about like male or female, how about? So, male, 
this is a good example. And then if we copy this, change the value to female. And we're going to stay with the same name. So that's the other thing. So when you're using radio buttons or like checkboxes, you use the same name for uh, the same group of, or actually for just for radio buttons. Uh, when you use radio buttons, if you have a group of radio buttons that you have to choose one option from all of these options, you give them give all those radio boxes the same name to tell that HTML that this is a group. Uh, so that's why when you check one, it will deselect all the other ones. But if you want to make, if I did this, I can actually potentially check both of them. And actually, I have to make this not say checked, so it's not checked by default. So if we go ahead and let's go ahead and refresh this page, and as you can see, mail is checked by default, and if I click one, the other one is deselected. So that's exactly what we want. Uh, there's also a pretty useful uh, element called text area, and this actually needs a beginning and end tag. Oops, what did I do? And this basically allows us to put in a large amount of text uh, in our form. So as you can see, it can become really big or something. So when, when you're typing like a Facebook post or something, that this is the type of element uh, that's used in that form. So, you know, in Facebook, when you go on Facebook and you're trying to post a status or something, that essentially is a form. And the status box that you type things in, and that's basically a, a text area. So that's a very useful element. So anyways, uh, right now it's pretty much useless because you guys don't probably don't know PHP or anything like this, like that yet. Uh, but further on, it's going to be forms are probably going to be one of the most important elements of your website if you're creating a, like a heavy duty website, like a social networking website or something like that, uh, because it, it can handle all logins, uh, things like that, posts to websites, thread posts, whatever. Uh, so very, very important. So anyways, I hope you uh, learned something from, the, from this tutorial. Uh, I, we covered basically almost everything in HTML that there is to cover. I mean, there's a lot of other minor things, but not really important and you can easily check online. Uh, so I'm gonna, probably end this series pretty soon. So anyways, I hope you learned something that's a tutor tutorial. Uh, please share it with your friends, like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.